What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode and edition of the Chop Sports Fight Factory right here on the Premier YouTube channel. Of course, the Premier Podcast Network. It is your boys, Dave Sturchio, Tommy D, and of course, the return of producer Shay at the Shay Cam thingy over there. Shay, how you doing, girl? I'm good. How are you guys doing? Oh, we are just What a Christmas glorious. gift. We lose pain and we get Shay. Yeah, uh, according to sources, there's a sign hanging up over Tommy's head right now. If you've seen pain... Uh, please contact your local authorities, uh, a.k.a. Payne, and uh, just figure out where he is because we can't find him. Um, he's probably in a ditch somewhere, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's the holiday, so hopefully he's doing okay. Um, but, yeah, if you, ha- if you have seen him, if, if you have seen him, please uh, inform the masses. Uh, we're concerned, really. He is armed and dangerous, so be careful. <laughs> That's very true. He's armed and dangerous. Hope everybody's doing well out there. This show is being powered by Dudes Gourmet. Uh, hit up. Dudes Gourmet, their website, enter Fight Factory at checkout and get 20% off of all your seasonings. You should have did that by now because of all the holiday stuff that's happening. They make for great stocking stuffers or nasal sprays for Tommy. Uh, But there's a lot of cool uh, seasonings you can grab. And, of course, Shay, uh, I'm going to lie real quick and say you got those beautiful new glasses at Absolute Eyewear uh, getting involved here as one of our sponsors. So please be sure to go see Craig and Janine. In Woodbridge, right next to the old train station, and Shay came Woodbridge. bearing gifts. She gave me a new, you probably can't see this right now, but it is a Brock Lesnar and Undertaker pop them. Pop it? Pop them? Pop. Pop figures. Pop figures? That's what they're yeah. called? Pops. pops. Okay. Pop I, I'm not a Funko big, Pops. Funko Pop. That's right. I, so basically, J.D. McNutter. You know, um, I have one, too. Uh, of yourself? Uh-huh. You're a loser. Yeah, I saw <laughs> that, but you, and you didn't bring it in. It's not a real thing. It's a, it's a, it's the AI designs. Oh, that, see, you got to tell me how to do that, uh, dude. A buddy did it for me. I don't know how to do it. Do I know how to do that? Yeah, you don't know how to do anything. Actually, you're <laughs> a buddy actually did it for you're me. the most incompetent person on the internet right now, and um, <laughs> that's not even remotely false. Uh, but anyway, like we said before, hope everybody's doing good. It is the Christmas season. Christmas is just around the corner, meaning like I don't know, three or four days from now. Yeah. I got my Clark W. Griswold T-shirt. This guy's got a brand new. Macho Man Christmas ugly sweater. Not so, it's not ugly when it's Macho Man. No. So I mean, um, and Shay has uh, nothing on. Uh, I mean, she has <laughs> stuff on. So if you're listening to audio version, it's she's like not. when she came here for Halloween dressed as you. No costume. Yeah, with well, no personality. I didn't know you guys were dressing up for this. I mean, it's, it's not. This is show. me. This is quote dressing up. I mean, next week we're gonna wi- uh, wear tuxedos. Uh, it's our New Year's event, Don't so worry, make sure you get your I'll tux get, pressed. I wasn't um, going to get a tux press. I wasn't going to get, you know, like my evening gown ready. There you go. <laughs> evening gown match. Huh? Take us back to the attitude oh, era. Oh, no. Um, bet you I'd win. <laughs> but in any event, <laughs> hope everybody is doing well out there for the Christmas season. Hope everybody's feeling okay. Uh, I know me, I've been, like, battling whatever the fuck this is for the last, like, week and a half. The Florida flu. It's something. It's something fun. Um little coughs here and there now but like you went other from 80 something degree weather to yeah brick I, fucking cold it was that or it was the ride or the no sleep thing that kind yeah. of sucked too um but anyway no sleep because that's what you got boom <sighs> boom I mean, you, is you it don't too get late more, is it too late to kick him off the show no you don't get more perfect no. than that no. we could just end the show on that that's good night, everybody i'm done uh <laughs> my job here is done so The biggest news coming from the world of independent wrestling is a match that happened, uh, you know, not too long ago. And, uh, you know, we like to take responsibility for the at least the idea of the match. I know, listen, Danny Moff and Jacob Fatu have been, you know, on a collision course for basically their entire careers. Yeah. And the fact that it never happened was like a crime, right? Well, because I think that there were the the puppeteer that, that controls Danny not wanting it to happen. Controlling Danny not wanting it to happen? Yeah. Danny wanted it, but his whoever controls Danny didn't want it to happen. Who the fuck controls Danny? You know exactly who I'm talking about. I have about. no idea what you're saying, but anyway. You know exactly who I'm talking he's about. He's an independent wrestler. He can do what he wants. He can go where he wants. In fact, Battlefield Pro Wrestling was the ones to answer the call. They had an absolute banger of a match. I know Josh Chernoff loves when I say banger of a match. Banger of a match, front to, you know, front to back. I, I, listen, they kicked the shit out of each other, as yeah. expected. <laughs> as expected. And I'm going to be the there first. There was no finesse in that. That was not a no. a Jacob Fatu match that you're used to seeing. Um, the last time I saw him in a match like that was when he went up against Mads Kruger in MLW. And it was literally called the Weapons of Mass Destruction match. That's what I call my arms. It, yeah, well, they <laughs> used everything. I think like even a uh, like exploding dumpster or something like that. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, this was no finesse. This was just... 
two big son of a bitches using everything literally but the kitchen sink. I think they to, went through like four tables yeah. uh, total. Um, and not those plastic tables. No, d- uh, let me tell you something. <laughs> to watch Jacob Fatu, the man of his size, move the way he does, it's something special. And, and not for I mean, nothing. He lost weight. He looks but great. But he did that when he was bigger, too. That's insane. Um, I saw him. Obviously, I, I made the reel for Premiere, uh, the highlight reel that you saw. Um, and I tell you what, to slow down and just see him soaring through the air and about come crashing down on 300-plus pound Danny Moff on 300-plus pound guy coming down, 600 pounds of mass going through a table, forget it. Like uh, It just looked like a complete explosion. Um but I will say, I also saw Moff pull a Canadian destroyer out the yeah, hat. What was what was that? What the fuck? I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, uh, that guy's <laughs> that not, motherfucker. He's not real. Is not real. He's not no. real because it's like what he's able to do at his age, at, at this stage of his career. I said, you know, I, listen, pull back the curtain a little bit. I've talked to Moff since the match, and I, I said too. to him, I said to him that I said, man, 2024. You have a chance to really like. Look, Moff has a storied career. He has an incredible yeah. lineage of of guys that he's worked and wrestled in places. And you know, he's telling me one he was time in the inception of Ring of Honor, the inception of also Jersey All Pro Wrestling. He yeah. was over there uh, with his tag team. At, Wasn't he the first Ring of Honor heavyweight champion? I'm not sure about that. But what I will say is, he's had so many channel? levels, on it. so many levels to his career, and the fact that he keeps getting better. Is is insane to me. I mean, it's, he's defying all science. But we can't have this as a one and, and done. No, 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 no. This has to be run back. Um, battle- I think, and honestly, I think it, it needs to be run back in in Battlefield because you other promotions, you missed the boat on this. Yeah, it's almost as if like they don't deserve it. You know yeah, I mean? no, like, you no, don't, they don't. If you if you lost your opportunity to get this match on your card, guess what? You don't you don't get it um, unless. Unless there's a brand new one-off promotion that happens next summer that may want to headline it with these two Neanderthals. We don't know. We'll see. But, um, yeah, I mean, the, the ma- uh, I messaged Moff after. Uh, I would have messaged Fatu, but he has to check his, uh, his DMs. But, uh, you know, I, I had to tell Please him, answer like, me. Please, Jacob, please. <laughs> don't you have his phone number at this point? I, I thought you guys to. grabbed I had it, it at I MLW. I had my other phone. Speaking um, of MLW... You just said right before we went on live on the air. They, but, but, yeah, so. They acquired somebody. Great, outstanding match. Thank you, Battlefield. I wish we could have been there considering that, yes, this. And somebody actually gave us credit in, on Instagram on, on your reel that you posted. And said oh, really? This, this match happened because of Fight Factory. So, thank you. Sweet. Um, I didn't see that, but to, that's awesome. To the guy who put that. But, uh, yeah. So, MLW, big, big re-signing because he's, he's been there before. Mm. Matt Riddle. Is back in MLW, and I've seen sources say mm. his match, his first match, might back might be Jacob Fatu. It's another just main event caliber match. Matt Riddle has for me watching him do the transition from MMA to pro wrestling, and him doing his indie it was stuff seamless first. Transition, it was seamless. He got to the big stage, WWE. Look, he just couldn't get out of his own way. That seems to be the problem, right? And now you have a place like MLW that probably isn't going to be as, like, tight-knit, like, hey, be on your best behavior. You know what I mean? Like, they're not going to wave not a... there that often. It's not a weekly run show. Right. So, like, if you he know, goes there... one-month taping. He'll and then... crush it. He'll crush it over there. He was great over there to begin with. That's how WWE saw him when he was over there. I thought he had matches with Evolve, but maybe I'm wrong. I think they saw him there first. All right. that's well, where, whatever I mean, the case, it got him the job. He was so. in both. I mean, he was in both places. He yeah. did great at MLW. It's a great signing for him because January first is coming up, and Hammerstone is a free agent. I know MJF was on uh, your buddy. Um, what's his name from WWE? Sam Roberts. He okay. Was on Sam Roberts podcast. You say anything about the contract? Uh, Look, man, if you honestly don't think that he re-signed with AEW, yeah, it then, seems, I mean, you... seems to be apparent. We'll get to yeah, AEW in anyway, a little bit. But. Anyway, uh, <coughs> Sam Roberts had asked him, you know, who who do you want to see, you know, that's on the independent scene that you think you could work with? And he said, Alexander Hammerstone. He wants to work Hammerstone, huh? I mean, they were part of the dynasty together. I forgot that, yeah, with uh, Re- Re- so Holiday. Gonna, right, right. if they're going to do that, and I think that would be a great get for AEW, if you're gonna do that, you gotta pull the trigger on Richard Holiday. 
He is another one. Another I mean, one. He's in MLW, he's but the most marketable. Pull the trigger on the man. I Bring think, the listen, dynasty there. His story is just incredible. Yeah. Uh, you can actually see Holiday at WrestlePro next week. He's um What? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I Union. didn't see that. Oh yeah. Well, you should pay attention. Yeah, uh, WrestlePro's got their final event of the year next week on a Friday night in Union. Uh I'll be there for it. Oh man, how did you miss this? Do you know that Sent to Slaughter are taking on if you, think I'm gonna and, miss and this, if you think I'm going to miss this, you're crazy. Yeah, you have um, to be there for that. And, the Iron Savages against And Sent I also Slaughter. have to do some backstage stuff there because I would love to interview the Iron Savages have to. before this. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so that's... I've been sipping the Savage sauce since the beginning. You haven't sipped shit. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so that's another WrestlePro um, end-of-year event next week. Um, look for it on Premiere and Check. all that stuff. What? what? Did you look up what I asked oh, you? Oh, yeah, like five minutes ago. It wasn't him. It was Loki. Ah! Okay. Storied uh, career over there as well. I don't well. see Danny Moff on here. I don't think he ever all. won the... He, I, he might I have saw been a tag him winning team a heavyweight champion. championship when I was... When I nah, he's, at a, his... he's a tag team champion. You know how I know that? Whole, because when I had to do his intro, <laughs> again, him and Sean Donovan went one-on-one. The intro for Sean Donovan lasted four seconds. The intro for <laughs> Danny Moff with all his accolades lasted like four minutes. Can we talk about that awesome... Trench coat that he was wearing. Oh, it was great. He's <laughs> he's owned it for a while. Just really? Like yeah. Dave said he's a Ring of Honor tag champion. Two That's times. it. I know things. Um, <laughs> you do? I'm shocked. I know it's crazy. Shay's back, I like everybody. Salad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so in any event, Independence kind of on fire towards the end of the year. You, I think you have to be towards the end of the year for your you know you. I think ready. Independence season starts around November and goes until like. February, March, because it's like it's the cold months. Nobody wants to do anything outside. Yep. Go watch your local wrestling promotion. Do your thing. Summer is when it dies out. You got the outdoor shows and shit like that. But well, you, you, um, know, you also got the venues that have no friggin' air conditioning. Yeah, so they don't Rowan, have any, get your any shit shows. together, man. I've been we've been doing shows there for eleven years. You don't want to do any air conditioning. Um, Put a window unit in. Should be fine. Something, <laughs> just something, right? Just have it hum and hiss in the background for the entire show. <laughs> um, all right, let's get to some wrestling. Um, do we have to? Yeah, why not? It is Christmas time, season yeah. of giving, and what SmackDown was able to give us was the return of one AJ Styles, uh, which you could find a match of his this week on the Wrestling Hour. AJ Styles against Pac from across the pond. Phenomenal ball. Yeah. So He's the phenomenal huge. AJ Styles looked He's phenomenal ball. He's huge. He looks like Randy Orton. Huge. <laughs> he yeah. He he uh, he packed on some some meat. And um, his, I've never seen his arms look that big. Even never. When he was younger. And I can't even say, I can't even pretend it was like a camera angle. Like he's a fucking yoked version of AJ Styles. Now, curious, just because I don't know, do you think that's going to be his ring gear going forward? His return stuff, where I it was like black gloves, black jeans, black. I hope elbow so. Pads? I think I think, it's getting, a badass I think look. we are getting the heel AJ Styles, which is kind of what yeah, he turned on the been LA calling Knight. for since the beginning, because. Um, Look, he did his best work in TNA as a heel. Yeah. Was that you the know? X Division stuff? Yeah, the yeah. Short, with the short hair and everything like yeah, that. Yeah, maybe he should get rid of the mom cut. I don't know. <laughs> no, you can't get you can't get rid of that now. Why not? Was he going to go back to dyeing his hair again? Yeah. Okay. Frosty tips and all that shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, but anyway, so AJ Styles, that's the only thing I'll really touch on for SmackDown from last week. AJ Styles returns. Clearly, he's going to be involved within the Royal Rumble, you would say. Oh, yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, it's the... Obviously, as Royal Rumble gets closer, we'll make predictions and shit. But man, oh man, is this yeah, a to be wide open Royal Rumble field of who they choose that to just take the ball and run with it? This thing's gonna be pa- it's gonna be a packed, packed Royal Rumble. And okay. I believe was it you that sent me a picture of the Mania truck with yeah. Brock on it? So now Brock Lesnar's being quote advertised. And now you would Gunther, say Gunther was just doing a, a uh, an interview saying that you know he wants to wrestle Brock. I mean, dude, we, we've also been calling for that for two years, uh, feels like. So, anyway, AJ comes back. Now, as far as Raw is concerned, and you said it in, a, in the group chat uh, with me and Payne. So, Payne is alive, by the way. Um, the He answers the group chat sometimes. Our, listen, our truth national treasure. Oh, he, he, Please yeah. never leave, never change. Um, I think some of his shit is, is the I, funniest I, I, I that we've seen. I showed you the Wikipedia. They changed <laughs> the Judgment Day Wikipedia Did they really? and put him in there <laughs> above so, J.D. McNugent. Yeah, that's so good. That's the best part. So, 
R Truth uh, said, you know, it's it's. <laughs> did you see his shirt? Yeah, <laughs> it's just like with the tape on the bottom. So obviously he challenges J D McNugent um, McDonough to a match. Loser leaves Judgment Day, and J D loses his mind. And then like all of a sudden Priest was like, ah, that's a good idea. And I'm just like, <laughs> what? And I'm like, perfect, let's do it. Uh, and sure as shit, um, R Truth won that match. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so I, well. If you've been paying attention to Twitter, I mean, sometimes I do. JD McNug- McNugent is uh, petitioning to uh, to the higher ups that his shoulder was up. Oh Christ! All right, well, whatever. so he's not kicked out of the Judgment Day. Um, that's good. Yeah, and there's a promo later on that he's freaking out, and Priest says he's still in for now. And so. neither is our truth. <laughs> yeah, Judgment Day is addition by subtraction. Um, Becky Lynch was announced to take on Nia Jackson two weeks at Raw Day One, which will go down on New Year's I Day. I love what they're doing. Uh, Nia's promo last week against Becky was amazing. Didn't see it, but I'm listening. Well, the, the one line that she said is, I'm the woman who made the man. Oh, because she busted her open, and then there's the blood and the yep. man. Oh, wow, that's interesting. So she's, Not wrong. She's going off of that. Um, I think it's great that they're circling back to that because we never got them to. After that, it happened. Yeah. We never got those two after that it happened. That's Becky, true. Becky keeps firing back at her, saying, well, you know, you were fired. And, and Who all was this- fired? Nia, Nia Jax. Nia Jax was fired at one point? She was gone for like a year. I thought she was hurt. No, she got fired. Oh, interesting. Um, that's when she, that's when Nia went, went, when she went on Twitter saying, the, you know, oh, if, the, the, if I knew the things that certain people know. Oh, you know blah, blah, blah. Yeah. yeah, all right. Well, anyway, they got... A match at day one. Uh, Gunther officially ri- uh, got rid of the Miz in the Intercontinental title picture. Another uh, win there. Gunther said he's leaving for a while, and he's leaving yep. the rest of Imperium on his own. Is he just getting a vacay right now? I- I'm, Probably. Yeah, right? I mean, like, now I-, I was talking to Shay and Pri about what happens to Imperium while he's gone. She thinks it's going to be a complete implosion Absolutely. between the yeah, two. I mean, you could see Aren't it. they, like, butting heads, like, every single yeah, day? Yeah, well... He's butting heads with with those like two. Like Kaiser and what's the other guy? Yeah, so I, I like... definitely think there's going to be an implosion. Um, I also think there's going to be an opening for Dragunov. If he comes back from his, like, 14th neck injury, according to what we just I, saw. <laughs> I knew that was all a storyline. But, hey, listen, you, you know, I, I think it's great that they're implementing these storylines into these live events because it's making you want to go to these live events. Speaking of live events, next week on Tuesday, almost there's only sold like, out. almost like, I think there's like 400 tickets left yeah. uh, at the Garden, which I got an email today, and I was like, maybe I... I not for Christmas time. Nope. Nope. I mean, you're not going anywhere. You just get out of Penn Station, you go upstairs, you're at the I Garden. I hate New York around Christmas It's not time. even New York at that you point. You walk across you walk the upsta- street. You don't even walk across the street. You walk upstairs, Too and you're in the people. Garden. Too many people. Too many people. Oh, you're a people person. That's good. I'm not. <laughs> um... New tag team champs, ladies and gentlemen. Yay. Uh, Katana Chance, Caden Carter, defeats Chelsea Green, Piper Niven for poor the Chelsea tag team Green. championship. Why poor Chelsea Green? She's she's a rock star over there. She I know, but I want to... It's fun. With them with the belts is funny. Not so much as Piper, but for Chelsea with the belt was funny. She doesn't need the belt, though. She, she doesn't. do it without it. Yeah, absolutely does not need it. Um, is the other Viking Raider hurt? Yeah. I don't know. He had, like, neck surgery. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, because I've only seen Ivar on Raw yeah. for no, the last, Eric's, like, month. Eric's, right? Eric, I think, has, like, a neck fusion Rowan? or something. Is it Eric Rowan? No, I thought no, it Eric was, Eric Rowan too. is from, uh... The Bray? I, thought, I thought it was, too, at first. I was like, Oh, Wait, by no. the way, did you read about the, the Wyatts? That's amazing. Great gesture by the WWE. They've, they have given, basically, the Rotunda family a Legends, Legends contract, contract yep. which all proceeds of the contract will go to the Rotunda family, so... WWE trying to do the right thing with Bray and, and his late wife and kids. And so that's awesome. Especially now yeah. around the holidays, you're missing your dad for the first Christmas without him. It's it's, yeah, it's still just, so they shitty. They just had his first birthday without him, too. Yeah, like man. It's just such a like such that. a dog shit, like, Ugh. just sucks, you know? And, and it's it's good that the WWE takes care of their own as uh And they always they have, should. for all you people that are like, they don't take care. All their... Former wrestlers who, who've had, and I'm not saying, Bray didn't have a substance abuse problem, but all the guys that had substance abuse issues that weren't even with the company for like five, six years. They put them through rehab, they right? They put them through rehab. Yeah. So they took care of their own I'm afterward. pretty sure they were taking care of Riddle for way too long, too, right? Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, 
you know, you can only you can only lead the the, the dog the to the water. You know what I mean? Yeah. The dog to the water. Listen to me. The horse. The horse. Yeah. To the you water? can only lead the horse to the water. You <laughs> can't make dog. him drink. Exactly. So you know, it is what it is. But anyway, well, I guess technically he was doing plenty of drinking. <laughs> Yikes! Ivar defeats uh, Tazawa. I'm over to the Zawa thing. I think it's kind of corny at this point, but again, he's having fun. He's with on it. TV. He's you don't enjoying like the dance it. He does. No, I don't. He he's having fun with it. And the thing is, they're they're not completely squashing him. They're letting him get some of his shit in. They should. So he's still showing that he has. Bro, some when value. they first signed to Zawa, I was he was supposed to be Nakamura. You know what I mean? They were supposed to be this big get, and he just never took off, and it never happened for him. So it's unfortunate for him. But again, you know. Deal with what you've been dealt. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's <laughs> and make it all that's the great analogies. Doing, you know, know what? It's probably gonna make it's probably making the money. Yeah. Um do they have merch for him, uh, Shay? No, he's probably got Zawa? Sh- yeah. like I'll look, but like, I'm not Seth sure. Seth Rollins told Drew McIntyre that he pities him. I pity the fool, he said. He pulled the whole Mr. T on him, which set McIntyre off and he attacked Rollins. So there's a that segment was right there. McIntyre with another fire. Promo. It's a day one Fire. match also. Yeah, day one happening. match. Do you think there's any shred of possibility a title switch on day one? It yes. could be. They're going to need to do something big. They're going to need to do something big. Why? I, I could definitely see Because they're they're making this out to be this big, huge. It's almost like a premium live event, even though it's a Raw. Yeah, I think, I think McIntyre might win. And then they'll have Punk versus Seth at Mania, but without the title. Now, it, hmm. Somebody had posed a question on Twitter. I forget who the guy was that posed it. Are you going to still be as invested in CM Punk Rollins without a title? And even though it's even if it's not for the title, would you still make that the main event, even though it's not a belt match? Yeah. No. No. Universal Championship has the main event. I'm on There's the fence. There's two nights though. I'm on the fence with. Yeah, it. but usually night one can end with a uh, women's championship, or they can give because how many times give have the they... girls a, a, the rub, yeah, the burn. How many? T- ah. how many t- <laughs> no, I'm just. How saying, many times have they disgusting. opened with that belt, not having the you know Roman defending as a main event? Right, but you're definitely gonna have Roman defending as a main event at Mania, so probably night two. Yeah, that'll yeah. be night two, but then night one. I mean, you still have. And, and listen, I'm still disgusted it's a... the fact that it's in Philadelphia. But go ahead. It's a, it's a. <laughs> It's an honestly good question because CM Punk made that first night. If you give, listen, if you give it the time, like they only had, did they have a promo together yesterday or Monday? No, right? So no, they only had all. one promo in which Punk, I believe, kind of killed it. You know, or, or, you know, they left you wanting more. Right. You don't need a championship for that feud to boil over for the next three right, months. But do you, it, would, you, would it be acceptable for you as a, the yeah, main event? Yeah, because honestly, bro, and it's, it's it sucks but I still don't even look at that championship as like a like a I don't know man. Listen, it's, Rollins, Rollins Rollins deserves it. He's yeah, obviously he the did, main he guy did, over he there. He did but. it well, um, but <coughs> that's definitely a main event because that's the one thing that Punk never had, right? The main event. I was gonna say. I, I feel like in his contract, he probably negotiated some type of I want to I want to headline WrestleMania. I don't know. If this is a changed Punk, then it it won't matter where he's on the card. It's gonna be the main event, I think. I don't. First of all, I don't ever think that's in a contract. I don't think that's like I'm only coming back if like I don't think I was. A, he was unemployed. Not in a WWE <laughs> He's unemployed. Con- he had nowhere not to go. Not a WWE contract. No, not at all. <laughs> Maybe another company's contract. Who knows? But, not um, WWE. but anyway, so Kofi Claus, ho ho ho, came out, <laughs> uh, gave the audience gifts. Imperium attacked him, and here comes Jay Uso to help him out. And then Jay defeats uh, K- uh, Kaiser. Tell you what, man. You said it. We've said it. We've been saying it. Jey Uso, super mega star. Those guys had that place rocking. I saw yeah. the scene. It just looked like a mob house. It looked like the fucking the the battle of uh, on uh, Eight Mile. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the whole fucking uh, uh, and they're going crazy. The battle on Eight Mile. The Eight Mile battle where they have <laughs> yeah. like the underground battle, right? And they're everybody from the three one three. You got to see the, the video. Put your motherfucking the, you gotta, hands up and follow me. I, I know. I know. I've seen the movie. <laughs> okay. You got. You got to see the. Uh, Be rad. You gotta see the other video. It's it's Jay Uso and R Truth. Somebody's doing like an interview with them backstage. Those two together is oh, it's comedy fucking gold. gold. But it's great because I think I think I, just, I saw a video on Instagram. I don't know who posted. Maybe even WWE, where Jay Uso has been trying to get the crowd up for like years, and it like never panned out. And now you got the whole arena doing his thing. So it's like. He's got him in the palm of his hand, so good for him. With yeah. the blurred out Yeet shirt. Last week, you guys sounded so old, and you're like, what does Yeet mean? So what does it mean? It's like when you throw something, like you chuck it, and you say Yeet. 
That's not what it means. Yes, it is. I'm, I'm with. I'm you in throw the something and you chuck it. You like say if yeet. If I was gonna throw this at your head, I'd say yeet and then I'd throw it. Oh, that's so I, stupid. I thought that you takes were, actually that takes the luster out. I thought of she it. was pulling to John Stark's brick. No, uh, relax. <laughs> Ninety four still no, sticks I'm out. in like the young generation. You guys well, yeah, because you're young. Old. So. Oh, is that how it works? Yeah. <laughs> she's in the young generation because she's young? Yeah, she's young. Dynamite math there, Tommy. Thank you. There you go. Holy shit. Uh, McDonough freaking out. We talked about that already. Judgment Day defeats the Creed Brothers for the Undisputed Tag Team Championships to end Monday Night Raw. Um, Can you actually believe that there are people complaining that the Creed Brothers had that opportunity? There's people actually complaining about that. I mean, like, why? Why they, would you complain about that? Because they're dorks. <laughs> That's why. They're dorks. If you complain about somebody getting a title shot... In a made-up fucking wrestling, you're a dork, and that's just the well, way it like, is. I would understand people being like, well, why would you put, if they won, right? Like, why would you do that? They're just coming up. They're beginning to make their name. All right. But they didn't win. They were able to showcase how good they are. Okay. And that's that's good. That's that's how you build the name. They're good to go. And in two weeks, Ivy Nile is going against Rhea for the Women's Championship. I sure hope she does a better job than- At day one? Yeah. I so sure hope got, she does a better job than the one from uh, Maxine. Yeah, mm. they got two. They got the tag, the women's tag team championship, and then the women's championship advertised, and the Becky Lynch match. I saw a scroll. There's for, a women's. There's tag three team fucking. Match? There's three. There's three women's matches being advertised, and then one Seth Rollins match. Who are the welcome to the tag new team times champions going against? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was Becky and no, then. No, you might be right. Rhea. But that's what I'm know. saying to you. Like they're they're billing this like it's a, a premium live event. But I'm on saying a Monday there's night. three. Or maybe two women's matches Good. being advertised, and then there's only Seth Rollins. You got to advertise that Punk's going to be there or something like that, at least. He, I, I can only, Punk live he's returns got, next week. Cody returns wrestle. next week. He's, he's probably right. going to wrestle there. I'm right. Yeah, it's. How about uh, that? Oh wait, no, it's to determine the number one contender for the women's tag team. Same shit. Whatever. You know no, what no, I, mean? I misread it. It's Tegan and Natalia versus Shayna and Zoe. And I think I think we get Punk wrestling that night, like in a tag. I think. Well, his first actual matches against Dom Dom over on in, MSG. in the garden, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, I guess we should move over to AEW for a little bit. Uh, not right too up. much on Collision. I, I don't really have anything for Collision. There's been more movement in the international champ. I mean, uh, in the uh, Continental Classic. Uh, Claudio defeats Andrade. Um, <clears throat> cool. Orange Cassidy <laughs> defeats Brian Keith for the international championship. Some guy from Texas. They were oh, in- oh, he's one of the the fucking. Um, he's like a cowboy. He's the Iron Claw. Those guys, the Von Ericks. Yeah. Some. Yeah. Okay. My bad. I uh, didn't mean to disrespect them. Um, House of Black came out. Whatever. You're saying you didn't mean to disrespect them. You didn't, you know, really watch MLW to see them, and this is like. I did not. Uh, is this their first or second time in this AEW? Is their first. The Von Ericks, the first. Yeah. yeah. So. And it's a shame, but you're probably not going to see them anymore. Probably there. not. Movie's over. <laughs> Chris Statlander yeah. and Willow defeat Mercedes and Diamante in the Texas street fight. Oh, this game, this was a shit that was in a, Texas. That was a good match. Well, tell us about it, Che. Because <laughs> you know we didn't watch. I was going to say, I know you guys didn't watch it. Um, so it's... tell us. How did it go? Um, well, Went a little something like this. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. It was. If Some you say tags, it was good, tables. I believe it. Cool. Thumbtacks, tables. Welcome to AEW. Okay. kendo sticks. Brian Cage defeats, quote, some jobber. <laughs> I, That's good. I didn't hear his name, so I said some jobber, and I moved Continental on. Classic action. <laughs> Eddie <laughs> Kingston, my guy, defeats Danny Garcia, and Brian Danielson defeats Brody King. So there's two matches there in the Continental Classic. <laughs> D, uh, I almost said Diamante. Dynamite. Same shit. <laughs> Swerve Strickland defeats Ro- uh, Rush, and Mark Briscoe defeats Jay Lethal. Anybody know the standings of this thing? Um, I think at this who's point, in the lead? At this point, I think they said because with the main event, how Jay White won, I think they said next week it's going to be a triple threat with Moxley, Swerve, and Jay White, and the winner is like the final of the Golden League. It's okay, it's going to be one winner of each league going against Makes each sense. other at World's End. Cool. All right. And fine. I know they said like Daniel Garcia, Jay Lethal, and Mark Briscoe are like mathematically out or something. Oh, okay. No, they're keeping it like a standing thing, like a playoff right thing. If people will say that the belt that Seth Rollins holds is like a crappy consolation prize for him, if Swerve gets this made-up tournament belt, they get three, to me, that's a crappy consolation prize. They get three championships. Prize. What? They get three championships. The made-up belt, 
the uh, NJPW Strong Openweight Championship and the Ring of Honor Championship. Why? Because what? Eddie was the two of them, and then he's like, I'm going to enter it, and I'm going to put my um, championship. Is on that the why line. they're all on a table every match? Like, yeah. they're all, like, laid out, and the yeah. ones hit it? The hidden one is the made-up one, and the two others, <sighs> obviously, are the... So, right. again... So, somebody's going to win three belts. If, if, yeah. if that's for Swerve, to me, that's bullshit. He should well, be, no, I'll, I'll, we'll get he to should be the minute. one to dethrone Max. I think we'll it's We'll get to time. that in a minute, yeah. I definitely think it's time. Samoa Joe says he's suspicious uh, that no one saw the devil attack MJF. Both MJF and Joe acknowledge that. They don't trust each other. They teamed up to take on all the masked men. Blah, blah, blah. The devil challenged them to the Ring of Honor tag team championship <laughs> match, and Joe accepted. The devil challenged them? Yeah. He's like, I'm sending two of my guys next week. You see what I mean? But that didn't happen last time. He said, "I'm sending my two guys." So see, people are getting. Ahead. People are like, I, I see their fans are actually starting to get oh, tired. Oh God! Of it. I have to get to this next match. Go ahead. <laughs> Rio defeats Soraya to face Tony Storm for, at World's End. Right after the match, Rio and Tony faced off. Miranda May came out to protect Tony. Did anybody hear Tony on commentary? No, no I know Mariah May hard waiter with the belt. Okay. I'm under, I'm well aware that with, it's on with TNT. Tony, Shivani? No, or? Tony Storm. Oh, okay. I know it's on TNT or TBS, whichever of the two. Same thing, Turner. Uh, and I know that they have a little bit more leeway. I've heard some cursing on there. Sometimes they get it with a hot mic, and you're like, oops, you're right. Oh, like when Rick Ross dropped the F-bomb? That sure. Was, that was a I'm talking one. about, like, just recently with Edge. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Adam Copeland. But so now during this match, for what like, like I said, sometimes when I sit on the couch and I put on Dynamite, whatever's on, I'll watch for a right. little while, and then I'll turn it off. Um because normally I get duped into watching some movie or show. Um, Which probably gets more viewers. Anyway. Whatever. It's on, <laughs> it's on Amazon. Um, so Tony Storm rep- like repeatedly mm-hmm. kept saying the word titty. Really? Yeah. And then she goes, speaking of titty, I don't know there's if Soraya. I don't know if that's a banned word. It just, I, I don't know. It just but since she's kind of rubs me the wrong way. Like, I don't know. Is it is she saying it meaning something else because of her old Hollywood thing or Oh, maybe. No, but she could just speaking of Titty, there's Soraya. And Soraya was just like right there in all her glory. And I was like, Should she say that? And like I'm listening to myself, I'm like, do I have to rewind that? No, she definitely said that. I don't know. It, it just maybe felt she means fucking it weird. With there's the people old that Hollywood? like this this whatever gimmick that she's doing, it doesn't do anything for me. Um Tony Storm was was fine the way Tony Storm was fine the way she was. Before that whole group thing that they did with Soraya mm. and Ruby Soho. What's her face looks really good. She got a nose job, didn't she? Who's what's her face? Ruby. Oh, when she's going on dates with Angela Parker? Who's Angela Parker? The dude from 2.0. They're going on dates now. Remember? I told you about that whole stupid romantic storyline they're doing. Are you jealous? Well, whatever the case no, may be, ridiculous. she looks better. She, I think she got a nose job. Anyway, doesn't matter. Because she looks like a fuck. Never mind. Um, what? Nothing. Don't finish that sentence. I'm not, because I actually I like her. I like her in work, uh, in ring work, and now she looks even better than before. Christian Cage coming back on Saturday uh, to answer Adam Copeland's uh, thing, so Collision's going to try to grab some ratings there. He said he took Nick Wayne on a vacation. <laughs> oh, Christ. And I hear that Shivani had to deliver that message, which yeah. was even funnier. Like He's just reading off of like a script, which is really funny. Um, what are you laughing at? It's just the whole thing, like. What's he banging Nick Swain's mom now as part of his storyline? Like, <laughs> I mean, are you? I think that's funny. Um, so here's the the best. I thought the best part of the entire thing. MJF finds uh, one of the mask guys mask outside of Swerve's locker room in the embassy thing. MJF's greeting to Swerve was, "Did you see it? No, oh, it was, it was funny. so good, dude. Skirt, skirt. It was. He's like, oh, Shane, skirt, skirt, right? Like, <laughs> this is MJF doing his thing." <laughs> And then he's like, <coughs> but he keeps singing his song the first like thirty seconds. That I read. I was reading. Love me. Like no, you whatever gotta, he says. You gotta watch it. it. It's funny. It's very funny. I'll show it to you after because it's very funny. Um, but he gets it in his face and he's like, hey, remember the remember the drives we used to do on the Independence up and down Long Island into blah blah blah. blah, blah. So they're talking about their past, and then Swerve comes back and is like, bro, you're the best chauffeur I ever had. Right, making MJF drive him around. That right there, I think, regardless of. Samoa Joe and uh, who's the other big guy? Wardlow and like all these guys that potentially could be in the mix for the title. Like you were just saying before, it's Swerve's time. <coughs> the promos, the the embassy behind them, 
uh, Brian Cage and the, you know all those big dudes in this embassy thing. I think this is the match that needs to happen. Um, and maybe, just maybe, Swerve is on the cusp of winning these triple championship belts, and maybe he gets screwed by somebody of MJF's liking, like a fucking uh, Adam Cole or whatever. Like somebody, something to, to have Swerve right there on the cusp of winning that thing, just like you said, if he wins, it does nothing for him. I don't. Think. I don't think it does. Right, but it's a consolation. If prize. he gets into the title picture, it's game on because the promo, like I said, the promo last night was killer. And then he's like, MJF closed it, where he said, "I'm gonna break your arms, and then you'll have, then you'll really swerve when you drive or something like that." Like closed it hard, left. Samoa Joe comes, breaks it all up, blah blah blah. That so the Shay, kibosh. Uh, Roderick Strong, he's in the embassy, right? No. No. He's in the kingdom. He's in the next strong thing. It's him, Matt Taven, and. So I'm uh, wondering Michael if that Bennett. one big devil. Oh, that's Wardlow. Was, was Brian Cage. No, that's got to be Wardlow. Because that guy was huge. Well, we're about to find out, I guess, sooner enough. Uh, speaking of Roderick Strong, he comes out to uh, my theme song and beats Commander. Um, Who did he cool. beat? Commander. Oh, okay. Com- Commander, triple A guy. Uh, and then it ends it with Jay White defeating John Moxley for the Continental Classic, which is kind of a little bit of a surprise to me. Um, Jay White getting a little bit more of the rub um, there. Whatever we'll see uh, is how all plays so, out. Let's say Jay White ends up winning this thing. He then becomes the NJPW champion again. NJPW yes. strongweight. I don't know. Yeah. That has to do, but a strongweight championship and then the ROH world. So who's put that belt up? Eddie Kingston was both of them. Oh, Remember okay. when him and Claudio had that one match and each of their championships was on the line and then Eddie won, so he won. Oh, okay. Well, I don't remember. Shay is so clutch because she watches this Yeah, stuff. you're welcome. <laughs> well, that's so, what we have you here for. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Really. I was telling Dave this before we re- recorded. I'm like, if you didn't have me, you'd have to actually watch wrestling. I do watch wrestling. I watch the stuff that I choose to watch when I choose to watch it. So my my rate, just like my vote, feel like I feel like my vote didn't count in 2020. <laughs> I feel like my my rating, the, the one guy me watching at any time, doesn't really matter towards the fucking ratings. Did you um, see that that t- <laughs> Tony had the Ring of Honor uh, pay-per-view going up against, <laughs> what was it, Rampage, Shay? Ring of Honor pay-per-view, really? The, the one, yeah. Oh, the one that... The one what? that just happened. Really? He, had it, going up, he I mean, had it going up against... So he's fighting himself. Whatever. <laughs> Why? Who would cares? You do that? I mean, look, it's just two two things to watch. I don't know, man. Why would you I do am that? so beyond done trying to figure out the mind of Tony Khan. Because I'm not there's just no reason for even me to battle with this because it's just like whatever he likes is gonna go. You know what I mean? Like it, that's, that's it. There's no crazy to me. I, it, there's no also, fucking it, it's, it's also crazy to me that we've that, you know, and I've said this before that you know, you have that, whatever that app is called, the Honor, whatever the hell. Honor mm-hmm. Club? The Honor Club that, you know, people are paying, you know, $13 a month for. I think they only have, like, 10,000 subscribers. Wait, shut up. It's $13 a it's month? that much? Yeah, $13 a month. So it's, like, more than my Disney Plus bundle. But. The fuck? And I have three you, things on that. Like, and then you're still making people pay for the pay-per-views. Like, and then, but if you don't want to pay for the pay-per-view, you can wait a month later and then it's on the app like why wouldn't you just have it on the app that's how you're going to get more people to be viewing ring of honor i'm sorry people say he re- he revived it he's it, not really reviving it i don't know anyway let's get to I some i know lady frost is i think she's like in the the running for the one of the one of the good women in the running for the the women's championship there that should be just really? unveiled Oh yeah, I know. There's a Ring of Honor Women's Championship. He just yeah, he unveiled it. Hasn't there always been a Ring of Honor Women's Championship? I don't think so. Because he just unveiled it. That's cool. Was it a new belt? Because I feel like Athena was the champion going into that. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, Unless it was the tag belt. I don't know. He unveiled a a Ring of Honor women's belt. Some uh some news around the old circuits of wrestling. Some unfortunate news. Charlotte Flair is officially out nine months, is what we're saying. Yeah. Um that was rough, man. Blows, bro. That blows so much. Because I mean it's like obviously she misses Mania. Rumble, everything. She's just gonna miss the next. She'll, she might not even. SummerSlam. SummerSlam, yeah. maybe the return at SummerSlam. Um, that's iffy. That yeah, and that's mm. not definite. So it, it just sucks. Injuries blow. Um, speaking of blow, uh-huh. um, 
No, nah, it's actually marijuana, not blow. Oh. Liv Morgan arrested in Florida for uh, some marijuana what the possession. Fuck? Don't really. Are we, are we really doing that in tw almost twenty twenty four? I mean, it's not <laughs> when even. I saw the notif I got a notification from Bleacher Report. So I'm like, what? What the craziest part is the hottest uh, mugshot ever. By the way, <laughs> better than Don. Who? <laughs> Trump. Yeah. <laughs> have you seen her mugshot, Dave? I have not. You're okay. gonna pull it up for it's, me. Yeah. Am I gonna get excited? Good, good, good for you, Liv. <laughs> um. But I will say this. I was just in Florida with my gummies, and I had no idea it was illegal. Well, I there. think they were, as I was talking to people on Twitter that are actually You can't even gamble in Florida. Florida was supposed to be like, they you know, the most loose fucking. But apparently she had. Down. Yeah. Damn. All right. right? Um, Lock me up. Bro, away, key. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Simmer down now. Sorry. Apparently she had like um, like synthetic shit on her that's apparently illegal. Hmm. That you're not supposed to have, which I thought was completely taken off the shelves when like homeless people were eating each other's faces in Florida with the bath salts. Oh, fun! Because they, you know, they got rid of the synthetic stuff here in Jersey to where they made it completely illegal and everywhere else. So no, very it's... strange. Um, but everybody's like, well, she's suspended thirty days. She's not even cleared to wrestle yet. I didn't think she was. Like, me and Shay were talking about it at lunch. Like, I don't remember her being in a story. Was no, she, ever, she, she was. She was out, been out, right? She's been out. She All hasn't right. even been cleared so to wrestle So who gives yet. a shit? Um, but another unfortunate uh, setback for a one of the biggest stars in pro wrestling, Kenny Omega, out with diverticulitis. This almost killed Brock. So, like, yeah. this is some serious shit. And they're saying, like, he's, they're saying, and I told you, something didn't look right in his match. I said that wasn't. Uh, you know, Kenny esque. It yeah, not. like listen, it, you know, I know he's a phenomenal wrestler. I don't. He's he just doesn't do it for me. But his matches. That's why they call him Big Match Kenny. And they, you could just tell there was something wrong. Um, how Brock was able to do what he did when he had it is the guy's really. He had it when he was in UFC, stuff. right? He won the belt like that. <laughs> that's <laughs> right. That's right. He and he Fucking, he fought. Uh, you're a juggernaut, bro. Yeah, w what's his name that he fought? Uh, when oh, Couture? God. What? Was it no, Couture? no, no. He beat Couture. Then his title defense, where like he was losing the entire first. Carwin. Round. Carwin. Yeah. He, oh, was, he was getting the shit kicked out of him in the beginning. He had it full blown then. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? It, Beast. I think they took out a, a foot of his colon. <laughs> That's what it is. It's oh, a colon wow. thing. I thought it was a liver. Yeah, well, I, was no, you could, I mean, you could lose parts of your intestine and your colon, and you know. Thank God they caught this when they did with Kenny because if it ruptures, you be you become septic. Yeah, wow. that's what I was asking this before. I didn't know what it was, and I asked Dave, and I was like, yeah, "Oh it, wow, that's more than yeah, I it's a lot it worse." If that if that ruptures, you become septic. So they got it in just enough time. Good. You know, thank God, and yeah. I hope he's going to be okay. He'll be fine. Uh, like he'll be fine. He'll, he'll, he'll come on the other end of this, um, but. Man, that's it's, it's going to be a long shit. road. I can tell you that right it now. It is. It is. So all you Kenny Omega fans and enthusiasts out there, just Brock came be back, patient, man. It's yeah, going to be a while. Brock came back to fighting too soon, and this oh, is why I, Overeem. I think this right? is why I don't like Overeem because like he went right for his gut. Like, he really come did, on, man. Yeah. I mean, listen, it's the fight. game. I know it's a fight game. Fight yeah, game, but that's bro. You got to do what you got to do, man. Yeah, um, but that's, and that's it did tough, suck because that that post diverticulitis run for Brock outside of the match against at two hundred, where. You know, he was doping anyway, so the, the people just kind of took it away from him anyway. But like that fight, but before that, it was just a, a matter of him just getting. And, the and shit people were kind of making me sick when they when they found out that that he had it because people were like, oh, it's karma for who? The, karma uh, for what? So when Kenny, with Kenny, yeah, because they're saying that with oh well, Kenny, Kenny oversaw the video game. Out there, man. Kenny oversaw the video game, and one of the moves in there is like the F five diverticulitis and the stupid sock face fucking commentator. Made a joke about that while commentating once the the F five diverticulitis like taking a shot at Brock, so wait time out yeah rewind Re -re rewind somebody said something about Brock's diverticulitis yeah what what's his name the fucking commentator oh they did Excalibur yeah really the is he F5, out of his mind F five diverticulitis yeah. He really oh, said dude, that? Yeah, first of so all, they're, so they're saying like oh. you know, oh, it's it, and it, listen, it's not karma on Kenny. If you know, if a piano falls on that commentator, I, I wouldn't be too angry what? at that. But uh, Pepsi. what's oh. the matter? Move the Pepsi. Oh, I'm trying to be I a good be producer. Too, I would be, like, like, I wouldn't like, be too so angry at that. But it, it has nothing to do with Kenny. You know what I mean? Don't don't be that much of a dick. Listen, I make fun of them as much as I possibly can. <laughs> 
I'm not going to make fun of something like that because that is beyond serious. Yeah. Um, and you never want to see that happen to anybody. No, especially Wait, not so one of their big stars. When did Excalibur say this? That had to be a couple a couple years ago. Oh, okay. Like I, I just, thought, you, I I feel thought like, you were saying. Yeah, like, I was going to say if it, if it happened. It. Yeah, recently. And like I so said, they really... put it. They put it a name. The like that name in the video game is a finisher. Oh, okay. no. Okay. Yeah. Really? See. Okay. Now right. that that's fucked up. Like. They make it so hard to defend them. That's I'm telling they you. They really do. You would think that Tony is a Philadelphia Eagles fan. You would think that if he if you why is that much of a scumbag? <laughs> <laughs> because like this this is the stuff that he like he likes. Like listen, this is this is where that's carny you turn people off. Garbage. That's where you turn people off, dude. I'm telling you, if I didn't have Twitter, if I didn't it, Facebook, I don't go on Facebook anymore because they're worse on Facebook. Really? If I didn't have Twitter, I would not make fun of the product as much as I do. I would. You just you. It's, it seems to me that you just kind of like. I can't. Stand you nudge. Their fans. You nudge. You're yeah. Like, when I, you I see it, you're like, ha, ah, do it again. You know what I mean? Like. I can't stand their fans. I can't. I just can't. I cannot. I just wish that their fan base, their particular fan base, who just swear by everything they do, I just wish they were more open minded. Like yeah, to to know when something might suck, to know when WWE or TNA or somebody else does something maybe just a little better, you're allowed to admit defeat. You're allowed to admit that something's better than something else. That's okay. That's called an opinion. You cannot be this serving minion of Tony Khan and just completely think that everything that AEW does is gold. It's not. Nope. It's not. And I'm and I'm not saying that because I'm being a hater. There are things that even I bet Tony wants back. You know what I'm saying? Like Tony, Tony can go out there and be like, "Hey, do this, this, and this," and uh, a commentary. Make sure you say this, this, and this, and then just the the backlash would be completely shit. And then Tony's like, "Man, I probably should. Well, I want that back." That, the interview that he did after Ring of Honor, the, the pay per view, should be that come to Jesus meeting where he sat there and said, "Well, you know, uh, everything I do, you know, we're uh, AW is completely under attack. You made it that way." Who's attacking them? Oh, online. Who? But you just said the AEW just fan base are the blind. People and, and Jim Cornette, even though, even though <laughs> he sat there and said, you know, Jim Cornette's right in a lot of the things that he says, and I and I honor and respect his opinion. He offered the guy a job before AEW even became a thing. And Jim Cornette said, absolutely not, because he knew what it was going to be, especially with, with the, the folks that are involved. Well, now it's but, just, oh, look, it's the end of the year. AEW is reported to have lost a couple, a nice chunk of change this year. Something's got to change, right? Something's got to change in the new year. You would hope, you would think, and I believe they're go them going to monthly pay per views will make their well, who knows weekly programming better. Yeah, but who knows even what's going to happen with their weekly show? Because it's rumored now that Paramount Plus and Warner Brothers Discovery are about to merge. Paramount Plus got rid of their their sports division. Really? Paramount Plus used to be Spike. Oh. Spike. That doesn't even exist anymore, does it? No. that's It turned into Paramount Plus. But huh. Spike got rid of their... Because they had the UFC. They had TNA. Yeah. They got rid of all that stuff. So, I mean... It's, who, know, like, who, knows? who knows what's going to go on? So saying things like that don't do you any justice. Right. It, it doesn't. It's, it, it's tough, man. It, look... <laughs> I liked it in the very beginning. The second they started, they took their first shots. I knew what was going to happen. I was like, well, well, here they go. Now you have one of the most petty people in wrestling, Triple H, at the, the creative helm. And they're taking shots. Lee. They're taking shots yeah, you at it. AEW you with, the, with the promos, like with Tommy missed Seth's it. promo. They're taking shots. You're hearing him ignore me right now, Shay? Are you hearing I'm this? Yeah, completely ignoring you. You missed it. You. You, you said at the helm, and I said Zlee. <laughs> Helmsley, come on, man. It's like I'm right sorry, itself. I it. It took him a second to get it anyway. I know. He's I, so dumb. But I, I no, try. I, I, listen, I get it. Uh, and I get the naysayers, and I get the the only people I, I just can't get behind are the blind. Uh, yeah. The, the just, they could do no wrong. Like, when we say that we know people Like over WWE there, screws up shit. Yeah. They do. But when like, we say that we know people over there, we do. And these are the conversations that we've had with them in person. I know I have. Yeah. Well, again, we'll we'll see how it all plays out because they got a couple weeks to to end the year. I know 
WWE kind of takes their foot off the gas for the next two weeks. Day Stingers one. Retirement match is, is doing well. They're they're selling tickets for that. I think they're about like twelve or thirteen thousand tickets or something like that for yeah, his they retirement said match. They, they sold a lot. That's, on what Evolution day? or Revolution? Revolution. Yeah. When is that? March. Okay. Huh. I'm not sure exactly. Yeah. So they're, they're and they don't have an opponent yet. No. I, I, dear God, please. If if Ric Flair it's turns not, on it's him, not no, Ric Flair. It's not going to be Ric Flair. It, no, After all the heat that he just took, it's, it, it's not Ric Flair. It's not going to be him, but if he turns on him for the retirement match, I'm never watching wrestling again. WWE. This is going to kick him in the box. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, well, <laughs> let's, let's not do that. He, he did the, the chop fest with Christian a couple weeks ago, and that was just terrible. Yeah, I didn't see it. I know you saw it, Shay. I said, sorry, what did you say? <laughs> when uh, Ric Flair and Christian... Oh. <laughs> Went at it outside oh, yeah. of the ring. Oh my god, <sighs> Rick, it's it's time. Just stop, <laughs> stop throwing shit. Like stop throwing. <laughs> Get it? Do throwing not shit. do the I'm woo chew you before you go. There you go. There you go. I'm proud of that one. I saw Kevin Matthews posted a photo of him with the the woo energy drink yesterday. So, when we were talking about the yeet, it was an independent wrestler that you know he came up with it first. Did you figure out who? I forget his name. God but damn it. The, the you're gonna like the. This is gonna be funny to you. I don't know if you saw this, Shay. No. The lawyer, Stephen P. New, that defended him <laughs> and got the bag from WWE is also the same lawyer that just defended Punk against AEW. <laughs> so this lawyer is making some change over there. Oh, and he's one of he's one of Jim Cornette's like biggest uh advertisers. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Well, with that being said, <laughs> that'll wrap this week's Wait, show. Today is the 21st, which means that all of those guys that got released by WWE yep. are free agents now. They are free. See who's going where. And see, and see, I told you that they can drag out the devil shit longer than those guys have been released. Now, other guys are in play. Dolph Ziggler, uh, Shelton Benjamin. And, but if uh, they don't, if, if, no, if it's none of those guys... It's going to be Jack Perry. Whoever this devil... Oh, God. Are you serious? Dude, whoever, I, I, that's who, what I think. I'm telling you this right now. If it's if it's none of those guys, if not one of those release guys or one of the ones under that devil mask, whoever the reveal is going to be, it's going to be a wet fart because you've dragged <laughs> it on this long. Yeah, people I agree. are losing interest I agree. Online. I think the devil thing was its most intriguing storyline, and now we need an answer. It's been going on for, like, what, three months? Because a it long. started... I feel like it's longer than that, dude. It started with... MJF and Adam Cole in the locker room and the devil mask being behind Adam Cole. Yeah, so that was like before. But even when tier. MJF came out against Punk, he came out with the devil mask. This shit's been going on forever. Yeah, no, like he was the devil. devil. Like he was the, the original new, devil. Like who the When he new got devil the poker is. chip, this remember? Been going yeah. On yeah, yeah, yeah. For like... um, but at this point, it's just going to come off as a wet fart. So they just should have just. They should have revealed it. Done it already. At um, Winter is Coming. Maybe they'll do it at World's End. They have to. They're going to have to now. They can't keep this going. I think it's over. So we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, like you said, it has to be somebody new to the company for it to be, you know, because if it's not, I don't know. It might it might just be like, eh. Like I said. With because, the it, it, all right, let's just say, gun to your, head, gun to your head. If, it, if it's MJF, is that going to like, is that going to suck? No. Because it was so goddamn obvious at certain points. You know points. what? Everything is going to be obvious unless it's what we just talked about. It's yeah. all going to be obvious. We saw the Roderick Strong trunks uh, the, last week. We saw that. So, okay, right. so we know it's them. Or did, did Roderick Strong join a new group? And is this new group the ex-WWE guys? Because isn't Roderick Strong an ex-WWE guy? NXT, but yeah. But, same same thing. I don't know. know. We'll figure it out, Adam I guess. Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly, when is, Roderick yeah. Strong. That was, uh, what was it called? Where's the group called? Undisputed Era. Undisputed Era. Um, what do we got left in in this year? So a, a raw, a SmackDown that's going to go down tomorrow. Yep. And then was that taped? I don't think so. I thought it was no, taped. NXT was a uh, decent show. De NXT. I watched NXT a little bit Tuesday. They're putting out a decent show. They really are. Um, Love that Nikita Lyons is back. She looks great. Um, God, everybody's just fucking bashing her. I don't know. Adam. Oh, she's not talented. What 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 part of her is not talented? Oh, she only hired because of her uh, because of the way she looks. R really? So obviously none of you know her background that she is a legit shoot fighter. Yeah, well. Like say let him find out. Fuck around <laughs> and find out. Uh find out more oh, next wait, week. We're still what? we're still but we gotta wrap this up. What? Dragonoff and uh and Rich, Rich Holland? Holland. How much longer do you think? Ridge Holland takes the belt, and they call Dragunov up for this new year? No. You don't think so? Nope. What about you, Shay? 
I don't think you don't he's watch, going to Rich Holland. I don't think I don't, but I don't think he's going to Rich Holland. It's not going to Rich Holland. Someone else. Baron Give Corbin. it to the uh who is the guy that Carmelo Hayes? Yeah. Who's his friend? The other black guy. He looks good. He's very good. He said I thought oh. he wants to fight him too. I know you're talking about. I can't about, remember yeah, his yeah. name. <laughs> Shit. Um I don't know. Whatever. Trick. Could, trip. Trick. It could be trick. 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 Okay, could be trick. Uh, it's not Holland, though. I, I can't see that. When are you going to reward the guy for fucking hurting people? Come on, I man. just think it's crazy how they're making a storyline out of that. They have to do something. They have to be like, uh, listen, he's not as shitty as we think. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. He's actually hurting people on purpose. You know what I mean? Like, It's like, all right, dude, we get it. Anyway, everybody out there, please, then, please, yeah. please, please enjoy your Christmas if you celebrate. I hope you had a great Hanukkah. If that's already passed, I hope you enjoy Kwanzaa and the holidays. And next week will be our go-home show for 2023. We want to thank everybody for sticking with us throughout the course of this year. Obviously, thanks to Shay, thanks to Tommy, our new addition to Chris Payne, who's Maybe never here. He's just, again, <laughs> you know, there's there's a sign you know there. We should Make do? Sure Are we going to do the end of the year Contact rewards? your local authorities. What? Are we going to do the end of the year rewards again? I was thinking about it, yeah. I was thinking about it. So maybe we'll... We'll, we'll, I got ten to one odds. He doesn't do it. We'll get. <laughs> he ain't gonna we'll, be here. We'll get categories. Listen, we'll get categories. We'll do some end of the year awards. We did that last year, so that was fun. Um, we'll get some voting going on and shit, and we'll see what we. Shay, you'll be here next week, up. right? I'm gonna be here until the second or third week of January. Hell yes! Winter break from college. Shay back Yay. in the building. So, first Shay, Dave and Tommy, and of course missing Chris. This has been another episode of the Fight Factory. Enjoy your holiday. Be safe. Be merry. Don't be stupid. Don't wind up like Liv. And we'll see you guys next time. Slander. Paper throw.